In this video, we're going to get a proof for the cosine rule, which is basically an extension of Pythagoras' theorem that includes triangles that don't necessarily have a 90 degrees in them. So we're going to start off with our arbitrary triangle again. We're going to label up their opposite sides, capitals for angles, lowercase letters for sides. And our aim is to link the three sides together. So you'll notice we know how to do that when our, when our triangle has a 90 degrees in. So if we were to have A, B, C, then we know immediately what links these three together is going to be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem. But we're trying to do this now when our angles aren't necessarily 90. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it similar to how we approach the area formula. We're going to drop a perpendicular side and label it up as H. And then we're going to use Pythagoras to write some expressions down and then try and eventually get rid of this h term that's in the middle. So on the left side, um, we've got uh, a side length of c and h, but then we're going to need to label up this lower side with x, which we don't know how long that is yet. And on the other side, we're going to have b minus x because it's the remaining portion of this side at the bottom, which is uh, total length b. OK, that tells us now that we can write down two ver versions of Pythagoras, one on the left side of this triangle and one on the right side. So on the one hand, we've got c squared equals x squared plus h squared. That's the left hand triangle. And then on the right side, we've got a squared equals b minus x all squared and then plus h squared again. OK, let's see what we can do with these triangles here to uh, get rid of both x and h, because I want everything in terms of a's, b's and c's. So now we're going to expand um, this equation number two. I'm going to expand out the brackets. So that gives us a squared equals b squared minus 2bx plus x squared plus h squared. But then you'll notice that this gives me an x squared plus h squared, which I can then use equation one to replace with c squared. Good. OK, slight bit of rearranging now. Let's rearrange the terms to group things together. So now I've got a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bx. OK, so this is now the only term x that I need to get rid of and get in terms of a, b and c. But now I can use some trigonometry to do that. Looking at the left side of this of the uh, triangle, this um, left hand right angle triangle. I can link x with capital A and the side length C using cos. So I know that cos of A is the adjacent side x over the hypotenuse side C. Rearranging that gives me x equals c cos a, which can then go into my expression down here and replaces x. OK, so that's the cosine rule then proved. That's one of the three ways to write um, to write this down. If I permute the letters around, I can replace this with any combination of letters. But what's got to happen, though, is that the entire right hand side of this formula has got to be, again, an SAS. Which, by which I mean B and C have to be side lengths, and then the angle that's given at the very end has got to be the one in between those two sides, um, and has also got to match uh, the letter that appears at the very front of the equation on its own. So that's the cosine rule proved. And if you want to have a go at proving it um, by changing the direction of this perpendicular drop, then you can do so, but it's not, um, it's not absolutely necessary. All right, thanks for 12. See you soon.